If you've been following my channel, you're probably aware of my Eagle Moss Crisis. Those of you who aren't, it's a little recap. Tell me what's wrong with this picture immediately. You tell me what's wrong with it. Yes. This. This is the nose of the ship. I emailed them and I said, guys, uh, defined model's broken. Please, can you send another one? What's wrong with this picture again? Where the fuck is that? Kind of creaky, can you hear that? Broken. A third Defiant coming to me and hopefully it should arrive within the next few days and maybe I'll do a follow-up video and I'll actually do like a proper unboxing of the Defiant so you can see firsthand my delight or disgust if I now open the box and it's a third broken fucked up Defiant. <gasps> yes! It's not broken! Oh it might be. It might actually be broken. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Just it. <sighs> e defiant models, all broken in the same way. Crazy. I officially now have three broken defiant models, which is one more than they trashed up in Deep Space Nine. I guess I win. I will email Eagle Moss again. Eagle Moss, if you have watched this video, then I'm not happy with you. So the saga continues. Eagle Moss sent me a response to my email and basically just said, please return the models so we can either refund you or send another one. Quite frankly, I didn't find their response to be all that. So I have not sent them back. Instead, I am going to do something different. They use this this wonderful bad boy. First of all, shout out to Destination Star Trek Facebook group. Posted the videos of my plight onto that group and I got some really good feedback from the guys there. Pretty much just saying that they have also had problems with Eagle Moss models in the past and some of them have actually just gone and fixed the model to save them the hassle of sending it back. And that's what I'm gonna do here. I have my Defiant model, or one of them anyway, and I'm gonna quickly fix it and hopefully it will be fixed. This whole saga will be done for ever until I order another one that's broken. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to fix the one that's not so fucked up. Um, it looks like it has a, a, a point on it still whereas the others are snapped off at the nose. I'm sure um, James will find this very exciting that Michael's doing modelling. Don't get too excited mate, I'm not going to do that much. Unless you can think of a model for me to make, Star Trek wise, yeah, let me know in the comments. So here we go, so I've got the nose. I got my friend, and I got the. Yeah. And my history of modelling actually goes way back to when I used to do Warhammer before I discovered boobies. I mean, I guess I've probably regressed considering all this shit behind me. Right, here we go. Um, the problem I always used to have when I used to do Warhammer models was I used to always get the super glue on my fingers. Slightly nervous here. Right, here we go. And I guess I just got to sit here now, um, make a bit of a lemon. I guess the right thing to do is to probably putty it a little bit. The only thing is I don't want it to be bent. That glued quickly. Ooh, glued very quickly. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a defined model from Eagle Moss um, that's in one piece. <laughs> uh, right, so I guess I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this to dry. Um, but the, the important thing is, guys, that I have a defined model that is not broken. <laughs> Looks pretty good now. So that concludes my Defiant Eagle Moss drama. I have just gone and just fixed one that was broken. I'm a nice guy, kind of. So I'm going to send the other two models back to Eagle Moss. For the most part, Eagle Moss have been very good to get back to me and I do appreciate them sending out uh, replacement models, no questions asked. I would, however, implore them to try and consider some sort of packaging method that isn't going to result in so many broken models because I know now that there are plenty of people out there who have had problems with their models. But not me anymore. I got my Defiant, yo.
Which model should I get next? I would love to know. Please let me know with your comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for more awesome nerdy content coming very soon. I actually have a dedicated channel to all things sci-fi, nerdy and awesome coming very soon. It's going to be called Trek Lad. The channel is live currently. I'm just not posting to it at the moment, but please go to that channel and give it a subscribe. I would appreciate it very much. I'll put the links in the description below. As always, guys, I've been Michael Kenny. You have been awesome and I will see you very soon.